What's up guys, this is Pingu and today I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to sync your effects to your music very easily and very fast. Um, we'll be using a plugin called Sound Keys, which makes the process really really easy. Um, let's begin. As you can see I have my clip and my song imported and added some tweaks there to the clip to make it look better. Um, what you want to do first is create a new layer and a solid. Just leave it that way, that's good. And then go to your effects and preset tab and type in sound keys and um, apply that to your solid. Here you have sound keys, I'll just uncheck this so you can see it better. Um, what you want to do then is go to the audio layer tab here where it says none um, change it to your song. For me it's this song. Now, as you can see, it's your song. Now you want to find the part of your song, the drum beat that you want to sync to. So just ramp preview it and listen to, listen to the song. So what you want to do f to sync with that blue part, you just see where it is, here, and then just take this rectangle and place it on top of it. So as you can see, it enters it and it goes back down. Basically what this means is the bottom of your rectangle um, will make a keyframe with a value of 0 and the top with a value of 100. Now if you want to change these values you can go to range, um, output min max and change it to custom and here you can change it to whatever you want but I'll just keep it to one zero one hundred because that's good for this tutorial. Um, if you're happy with this then you just press, press apply and it will have me it will make all your keyframes if you go to the effects tab, sound keys, and then range here all your keyframes. You just go to the beginning, press output, and Control C to copy all these keyframes. What you want to do then is make your effect basically. Um, I'll just make flashes, so adjustment layer, and type in curves. I'll add these curves to the adjustment layer and make it brighter. So this is what your your flash will look like. Now I want it to flash on every beat that I just selected in sound keys. So what you want to do for that is go to um, transform and opacity. Click the little stopwatch and press Ctrl V to paste all your keyframes. Basically, that's, that's the basic of sound keys. You can see it flashes on every beat I selected. I'll just ramp preview a little part. As you can see, that's pretty good. Now, if you're not, if you want the flashes to be longer or shorter or whatever, you just go to the keyframes on your clip, I mean on your adjustment layer, um, the, f the opacity keyframes here and press this button graph editor. There you can see all your all your beats. Now if you want for example this part, if you don't want it you just select it and drag it down. That's it. If you want to make these smaller so that the flash is less bright, just dra select them and drag it down. But I'll just keep it the way it is because I liked it. Um, that's basically it. You can add this to any effect you want really. Um, I'll just add some blur. So type in Gaussian Blur. Oh, 
I typed something wrong. What did I do wrong? I yeah, just type in golf then. And drag that on your adjustment layer. Okay. Go into your effects, Gaussian blur, blurriness, and click the stopwatch and then Ctrl V again to paste all your keyframes. And now it will flash and blur at the same time. Like, bam. I'll just add a quick um, color correction because it looks better. So, looks. Okay, that's basically it. Um, if you want me to make another tutorial, um, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll try to make one for you. Anyways, please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.